Good evening, attendees, member of Homeowner Association and Office of uh, Council Member Zared Williams. Today's uh, community meeting is for a streetlight improvements for the Trail Lake Drive, City Project Number 103301. Today is January 5th, 2022. It's about 6.05 p.m. The agenda for today's meeting is, is I'm going to briefly describe, uh, give you the uh, project background and also explain the project update. Um, and I will um, also provide you the project schedule and, and funding. And at the end of the presentation, we will take any questions or comments that you have regarding this project. Uh, before I, I talk about the project, I want to introduce you all to the project team. Uh, today we have um, Scott Arnold and Amber from, from Clemney Horn and Associates. Uh, they are the engineer of record for this project. We also have Lisette Atabado. She is a program manager for TPW Capital Delivery. And we have Clint Hoover. Um, uh, he is also a program manager for TPW um, um, uh, Transportation Management. He is a pro project sponsor for this project. And we have uh, Jeff Allen, uh, he's a communication specialist for TPW Capital Delivery. And myself, I'm Skull Tresta, I'm the project manager for this project uh, with TPW Capital Delivery. And I will be responsible for day-to-day -day operation of this project. Um, uh, now I want to talk about the project um, goal. Um, the goal of this project is to install the street light along the project corridor to promote safety and security. And this project also aligns with the city's strategic goal to make Fort Worth uh, the nation's safest major city. Now I wanna talk about the project limit. The project limit, as you can see on your map, uh, the, the blue highlighted sex segment is the project corridor. Um, it's on the Trail Lake Drive from Sycamore School at South uh, to the Alta Mesa Boulevard at North. Uh, the scope of the project is to install the um, street light along the project corridor at the maximum of 200 feet apart. And there are some existing street lights um, nearby the apartment complex that we are upgrading that um, at existing uh, light um, by painting and, and, and changing the fixtures to LED. Existing condition, as you can see on the picture on the left, uh, this picture was taken looking um, south uh, at the Trail Lake Drive, right next to uh, the church there. Uh, I believe the name of the church is uh, uh, Trademark Church. Um, as you can see, there is there are no street lights along the project corridor. I'm pretty sure at the, at, at at night it's pretty dark. Um, uh, along the um, uh, 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 along this project corridor, and picture on the right was taken nearby apartment complex, um, and you can see there is existing um, street light. However, we will be upgrading that street light pole by repainting it and and um, and and putting the LED light. This is the church. So one of the And the proposed condition, uh, what we are doing is we are proposing the street light similar to the picture you, that you see to your left, and it's gonna have LED fixtures to it. Um, it's gonna be single arterial LED luminaires, about 34 feet high. The pole arms fixtures uh, will be power coded in black as shown in the pictures. And uh, existing street light that you see on your right, uh, on the right, will be painted uh, in the black, and the fixtures um, will be changed, uh, will be upgraded to the LED lights. This is a um, exhibit of the project location, um, project corridor. Uh, you can see the Sycamore School is up here, and you notice towards your right and Alta Mesa Boulevard is up here. Um, the red circle that you see um, uh, on, uh, on your screen are the location of proposed street lights. And the blue circle that you see are the uh, location of existing street light that we are gonna repaint it and, and upgrade, the, uh, upgrade the fixtures to LED. And the green circle is the location of 
existing street light that we are going to replace with the new street light pole. And as you can all see from Sycamore School going up north up to that apartment complex by Kingwood Drive, um, the street light are on, uh, are on both sides of the street, but most of them most of them are on the west side of the street, and some of them are on the east side of the street. However, from Kingwood Drive to the Alta Mesa Boulevard, all of the new uh, all of the street light are going to be on the east side of the street, and the street light will be installed um, behind the back of the curb in between the back of curve and, and the edge of the sidewalk. Uh, we also kind of uh, prepare visualization uh, um, of the project, how it's gonna look when it gets completed. Um, um, I am gonna go ahead and, and play that video. It kind of gives you the idea what they will look like after the project gets complete. Sorry, Ed, um, when the video plays, the think that you're driving up north from the Sycamore School Drive on Trail Lake Drive. As you can see from uh, Sycamore School, that you can see the street light on the both side of the street, mostly on, on west side and some on east side. I'm going to stop right here at the Kingwood Drive. As you can see, between the Sycamore School and, and the Kingwood Drive on the Trail Lake Drive, you saw the street light on the both sides of the street, mostly on west, some on east. From Kingwood Drive to Alta Mesa Boulevard, you, you should see all the street light towards the east side of the street between the back, uh, back of curb and, and, and the edge of the sidewalk. I'm going to go ahead and start playing that video back again. So this concludes the visualization video. Now I'm going to go to the next item on the agenda, which is the schedule. Currently, uh, we completed the 60% design, and um, uh, based on current schedule, um, the issue for construction package is scheduled to be complete by early spring, and um, the construction should start mid spring of 2022, and substantial completion of the construction is fall 2022. Um, the funding for this project is from 2018 bond fund. That concludes the today's um, agenda uh, for the meeting. Um, now um, we can take any question or comment that you may have. Um, if your questions is um, outside the project scope or project, project limit, uh, we may or may not have an answer uh, for you now. However, what I would recommend is um, uh, send me an email uh, with the contact information with the question, and I will get the answer for you. That being said, uh, please unmute 
and ask your question. Uh, no questions in chat so far at school, but we did have a thank you for the presentation. No. All right, thank you very much for everyone to attend. Um, and if you have any questions regarding this project, uh, just give me a call at the contact information provided in, on, on the screen. Thank you, everyone. Uh, also, uh, Jeff, this will be uploaded, right? The presentation will be uploaded. And made Sorry, I had to them. unmute. Uh, yes, we'll create a project page um, that'll kind of give us, uh, allow us to kind of give monthly updates uh, as we go along the project, but uh, it'll also have links to these videos so anybody could watch them again or um, contact information will be included on that page as well. The, the page hasn't been created quite yet because we're still a little early in the process, uh, but it should be soon. Okay, thanks, Jeff. All right, thank you everyone. Thank you, good evening everybody.